Hey you guys, welcome back. And if you love growing hot peppers or sweet peppers, you're not gonna wanna miss this one because if you, if you don't have the space to plant stuff in your own yard, I'm gonna show you how you can do it in pots. So if you guys are like me and you love spicy food, uh, or if you just like regular sweet bell peppers, uh, one of the most important things that I've learned is that I can grow them in pots and actually have enough to last me throughout the whole entire winter actually fresh. Now I still do prepare some of the stuff that I harvest in the summertime, you know, chop them up, put them in bags, put them in the freezer, but uh, I still do enjoy having, you know, fresh stuff it's from time to time and when it's like December, January, obviously you can't grow them outside, so uh, I do put them in pots. So let me just talk about a little bit of what I have here, just to kind of showcase. So um, from my left here, we're starting with the sweet uh, peppers. This is the California Wonder, which is basically like a bell pepper. And then over here, we're moving on to a uh, golden Greek pepper. And these are really nice because they uh, have a beautiful color. Now this is a new variety, I've never really uh, grown these before and I had a uh, chef that I I knew that was growing this uh, actually uh, buying this stuff from me and so I decided to give it a try it actually has a pretty decent flavor um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite but it's you know a nice different variety and then moving over here we have our jalapeno peppers and uh, they're actually doing really good we have some right here that are actually kind of cracking and if you're wanting to know how to get the spiciest in terms of the jalapenos, get them when they're cracked because when they're cracked like that uh, is when they're at their spiciest. Uh, now if we're talking about really spicy stuff, then you want to move over here to my habanero. And this is actually uh, a chocolate variety. As you can see here, it is, now normally habaneros are orange, which I do have some, but this is variety I wanted to show you guys is actually a chocolate uh, variety. And uh, I'm actually going to be doing a, um, a uh, habanero chocolate uh, jelly uh, and see how that comes out. We normally do it with the, uh, with the orange one, but uh, this year we're going to give it a try uh, with the chocolate and see how that tastes. And uh, last but not least, we have just the um, Hungarian wax. And uh, normally these guys get a little bit bigger. Uh, I already harvest these a few times. And so they are it's starting to get a little bit chilly out here so i think that's starting to slow things down a little bit um but uh, some of them are you know starting to turn color as you can see here now in terms of uh, how i actually start these from seeds i did do a video um a few weeks ago on how to grow your how to grow uh peppers and if you haven't seen that uh you can click on the video here or is it here or is it a out right there, man? <laughs> but uh, go ahead and check that video out and it shows you how to do stuff step by step from seed. And uh, basically the only thing I'm doing is instead of actually putting uh, those pots that have grown to a certain size in the ground, uh, I just put them directly into the pots. And uh, it's really fairly easy. As you can see, they're doing really well. And um, these will actually grow year round if you if you take care of them okay and uh, I'm actually going to show you guys a jalapeno uh, plant that I've had for over two years is going on its third season just to kind of prove to you how these things will keep on growing alright guys so this is my two and a half year old jalapeno plant that has been doing extremely well since I started growing it I have no complaints whatsoever and as you can see we are loaded with jalapeno peppers. Uh, let's see if we can get that in there for you. And these guys are red, they're cracking. Uh, I've been uh, harvesting on this thing all summer long and we are now in the month of October, uh, mid-October, and it's still doing absolutely wonderful. So one thing I will mention to you guys that when I did transplant these uh, from like the, the two inch pots when I first started them, uh, I actually put them in about a two gallon uh, pot container and uh, 
This one got so big I eventually had to move him into a five gallon container and that was uh, this past summer and it's gotten so much uh, fruit on it that it's actually, you know, I have to have to hold it with my hand on this side because the steak is uh, just not enough to support all this weight. So I'm going to have to like make some adjustments and get another steak on that. So one of the most important things that you want to do is uh, make sure you have it in a good sized pot and um, make sure you do water it. Now in terms of watering, you don't want to over water it. Uh, peppers like to be dried out. Some of the, Sometimes what I do is just to kind of gauge if I know if it needs to be watered, I kind of just lift the pot up and, um, and if I can kind of feel that it's heavy, then I know I don't need to water it, but if it's really light, then I know it needs to be watered. Um, so like I said before, uh, they do need to be uh, drained out a little bit. You know, they don't like to be constantly soaking in water. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're watering these guys. So I'm going to be uh, doing a follow-up video uh, once it's really cold. And I'm going to move this guy in the inside and just to kind of show you guys exactly um, how I'm doing in terms of growing my peppers uh, year-round. So. Uh, I like doing it that way. I don't do too much. You know, obviously you guys know I grow like hundreds and hundreds of peppers on the farm. And uh, when it comes to bringing them inside, I only bring my favorites. So my jalapenos is definitely one of my favorite uh, in terms of the everyday types of spice I like to use. Habaneros will come in, you know, more of like, you know, on occasion. And of course the ghosts are like insanely hot. And that's only for like, you know, <laughs> Super Bowl parties when I want to burn the mouth out of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and then have them screaming <laughs> to the bathroom and pour some water in their face or whatever. But anyway, um, so yeah, in that case, I probably only bring about, you know, uh, this is the one I was growing inside all year round. So that was one, but I think I'm going to add on to it this year and maybe bring another uh, three or four more. So I'll definitely do a video for you guys on that one to follow up. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys are getting ready for uh, you know the fall season over here that's in the East Coast we're you know we're getting ready for to hit some cold weather but luckily we're in Delaware so we don't really experience cold weather until December so it's gonna be still good good uh, weather, weather for us so alright you guys uh, it's good seeing you again and uh, I will see y'all next time take it easy